In this video, we're going to focus on math problems associated with bacterial growth. Let's start with this one. A petri dish contains 100 counts of bacteria, which doubles every three hours. Part A. Write a formula that expresses the population as a function of time in hours. So there's many ways in which you can write the function. You could say the function f of t is equal to a times b raised to the t. There's that form. Or you could say p of t, population, is equal to p initial, that's the initial population, times 1 plus r raised to the t, or some variation of that. We could use any one of these formulas. a is the same as p initial, that is the initial amount of bacteria that we have. b that is the growth factor, which is 1 plus r, and r is the growth rate, and t is the time, which could be in hours or in minutes. But I'm going to use this version of the formula. So for part a, it's going to be p of t is equal to so the initial amount, P0, that's 100. Now, notice that it doubles every three hours. When something doubles, that means that the growth rate is 100%. So if R is 100%, 100% as a decimal is 1. That means that the growth factor is 2 which makes sense, it doubles. Now, it just doesn't double every hour, it doubles every three hours. So we have a growth factor of two, and it doubles every three hours, so it's gonna be t over three. So in three hours, this will be two, three over three, which is two to the first power. 100 times two to the first power will give us 200, which means it doubles. So for instance, let's say if the problem says, it doubles every four hours. This would be 2t over 4. Or let's say if it triples every five hours, the growth factor will be 3, and it will be t over 5. If it quadruples every seven hours, it will be, we'll have a growth factor of 4 raised to the t over 7. So that will mean it quadruples every seven hours. So that's how you can write the, f the function or the formula. Uh, if that type of statement changes. So that's it for part A. So that's the formula that expresses the population as a function of time in hours. What will be the population after 14 hours, part B? To do that, we just got to replace T with 14. So it's 2 raised to the 14 over 3, and we're going to multiply that by 100. So this is going to be, we're going to round this to the nearest whole number, approximately 2540 counts of bacteria. So that's the answer for part B. Now let's see if this answer makes sense. Initially, we're going to have 100 counts of bacteria. Three hours later, it's going to double. So in three hours, it's going to be 200 counts of bacteria. In another three hours, which means we'll have a total time of six hours elapsed, it's going to go from 200 to 400. In the ninth hour, it's going to be 800. In the twelfth hour, it's going to be 1600. And after 15 hours have elapsed, it's going to be 3200. Now we want to find the population after 14 hours. 14 is between 12 and 15. So after 12 hours, we have 1,600. After 15 hours, we have 3,200. So the answer should be somewhere between 1,600 and 3,200. And 2,540 is between those two values, which means our answer makes a lot of sense. Now, what about part C? When will the bacteria population reach 500,000. 
So keyword when, that means we're looking for time. So we're given the final population in part C. P of T is 500,000. That equals to the initial population of the bacteria times 2 raised to the T over 3. So we got to solve for T. Whenever you're solving for a variable in the exponent position, you will need to use logarithms. But first, we're going to divide, let me say that again. We're going to divide both sides by 100. So 500,000 divided by 100, we could cancel two zeros. It becomes 5,000 over 1, which is simply 5,000. Now at this point, you want to take the log of both sides. So we have log 5,000 is equal to log 2 raised to the t over 3. You could use the regular log or you could use the natural log. Now after you take the logs of both sides, you can move the exponent to the front. And that's one of the properties of logs that helps us to solve for exponential variables. And we'll get this. So now we need to isolate t. To do that, I'm going to multiply both sides by 3. So these will cancel. We'll have 3 log 5,000 is equal to t log times 2. Now, in the next step, I'm going to divide both sides by log 2. So t is what we see here. Let's go ahead and plug that in. 3 log 5,000, don't forget to close parentheses, and then divide it by log 2. You should get 36.86 hours. So that's how long it's going to take for the bacteria population to reach 500,000. Now let's try another problem. A sample contains 50 counts of bacteria, which triples every four hours. Write a formula that expresses the population as a function of time in hours. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this example problem. Also, for those of you who want more problems on exponential growth, exponential decay, and uh, interest compounded, those types of problems, feel free to take a look at the description section below this video. I'm going to be posting links to some other videos as well. Or you could search out these videos on YouTube. If you type in compound interest organic chemistry tutor, you should see a video that I have if you type that into the YouTube search bar. Or if you type in exponential growth and decay organic chemistry tutor, the video that I'm going to show you should come up in the search results. But now let's start with this one, part A. So we have P of T is equal to P initial. P initial is 50 in this problem. That's the initial amount of bacteria that we have times the growth rate, actually the growth factor rather. Now it triples every four hours. So the growth factor is going to be three and it's gonna be raised to the T over 4 since it's every 4 hours. And since the 4 is in hours, t has to be in hours as well. So that's it for part A. It's 50 times 3 raised to the t over 4. Now part B, what will the population be after 23 hours? All we got to do is plug in 23. So if you go ahead and type that in, you should get 27,696 counts of bacteria. Now let's see if our answer is fairly accurate. So we started with 50, 
every four hours is going to triple. So in four hours, it's going to go from 50 to 150. 50 times 3 is 150. In the next four hours, which means we're at the eighth hour, that is at the end of the eighth hour, if we multiply 150 by 3, we're going to get 450. After another four hours, or at the end of the twelfth hour, it's going to be 450 times 3, which is 1350. Four hours later, if we times it by 3, we'll get 4050. And then let's do it again. The next number is 12,150. And then four hours later, at the end of the 24th hour, it's going to be 36,450. Now, 23 is between 20 and 24. And the population is 27,000, which is between the population at the end of the 20th hour and the population at the end of the 24th hour. Now 23 is closer to 24, so we can see why this number is going to be closer to that number. So our answer makes sense. It's between these two values, which is what it should be. So that's how you can do a quick check to make sure if your answer is reasonable. And if it's not in that range, then you know you have the wrong answer. Now, part C, when will the bacteria population reach 1 billion? So we're given the final amount, P of T. 1 billion is 1 times 10 to the 9. If you want to write it out, it's a 1 with 9 zeros. P initial is 50. The growth factor is 3. And we need to solve for T. So first, we're going to divide both sides by 50. So a billion, or 1 times 10 to the 9, divided by 50, that is 20 million, which is 20 times 10 to the 6. Now at this point, we need to take the log of both sides. Next, we could take this exponent and move it to the front. So we're going to have log 20 times 10 to the 6 is equal to t over 4 log 3. Next, I'm going to multiply both sides by 4. So we could cancel this, and then I'm going to divide both sides by log 3. We can do it all at once. T is going to equal 4 times log 20 times 10 to the 6 divided by log 3. Let's go ahead and plug that in. So the time that I got is 61.2 hours. And just to make sure that we have the right answer, what we could do is we could plug this into the original equation. So if we were to type in 50 times 3 raised to the t over 4, or 61.2 over 4, we should get approximately 1 billion. And it gives me this number, 997,528,245 if you round it, which is about 1 billion. Keep in mind, this is a rounded answer. It's not exactly 61.2 hours, but that's an approximation. That's why this is not exact. But the fact that it's close to a billion means that this time value 
is accurate. Number three, a petri dish contains 1,000 counts of bacteria, which grows at a rate of 17% every 20 minutes. Write a formula that expresses the population as a function of time in hours. So this one is a little bit different. The other problems, it doubled every three hours or tripled every four hours. Here, we have the growth rate. We're still going to use this formula. P of t is equal to p initial times 1 plus r raised to the t, or t over something. Let's say t over k. In this problem, the initial amount is 1,000. That's our starting value. 1 plus r is the growth factor, but the growth rate is 17%. That's our r value. But we need to convert 17% into a decimal. To do that, divide by 100 or move the decimal point two units to the left. So our R value is 0.17. Now, it increases by 17% every 20 minutes. So what should we do here? What's our K value? The real question is, should k be in hours or in minutes? If we look at part a, we want to express the population as a function of time in hours. So we don't want k to be in minutes, we want it to be in hours. So we need to convert 20 minutes into hours. There's 60 minutes per hour. So 20 divided by 60, that's how many hours we have. We can cancel the zero we get 2 over 6. 2 is 2 times 1. 6 is 2 times 3. If we cancel the 2, we get 1 third. So it doubles, uh, not doubles, it increases by 17% every 1 third of an hour. So k is 1 over 3. t over k becomes t over 1 over 3. If we multiply the top and bottom by 3, we get 3t on top. 3 times 1 over 3, the 3's cancel, we get 1. So because it's 1 third, instead of it being t over 3, it's going to be 3 times t. That's the difference. The 3 is on top and not on the bottom of the fraction. So we could simplify this as being 1,000. We can add these two numbers. So 1.17 is the growth factor. 0.17 is the growth rate, which is 17%. And this is raised to the 3t, which shows that it triples every 20 minutes. So that's the answer for part A. It's a little bit different than the other two. Now, let's move on to part B. What will the population be in five hours? So we just got to plug in five. Now, let's make sense of this. Notice that we have the number 15. Remember, it changes by 17% every 20 minutes. How many units of 20 minutes do we have in five hours? One hour is three 20 minute periods because one hour is 60 minutes, three times 20 is 60. Five hours is gonna be five times as much as that. So it's five times three 20 minute periods, which is 15 20 minute periods. 5 times 60 is 300 minutes, which is the same as 15 times 20. That's 300 minutes. But the way I want you to see this is this 15 tells you how many 20 minute periods are in 5 hours. 5 hours is, if you do 5 times 60, that's 300 minutes. And if you divide that by 20, 
you get 15. So there's 15 20 minute periods, which means that we're going to multiply 1000 by 1.17 15 times. It's going to increase by 17% for 15 times every 20 minutes in that five hour period. That's what that tells us. So hopefully that this number makes sense to you. That's how many times we're going to multiply one point. I mean, we're going to multiply a thousand by 1.17. There's 15 20 minute periods in the five hour period. So it's going to be a thousand times 1.17 raised to the 15. And so this is going to be 10,000. 538.7 but we could round that to 39 so this is going to be approximately this value that's the answer for part b that is the approximate population of bacteria in five hours number four a sample contains 20 counts of bacteria which grows at a rate of 23 percent every 15 minutes Write a formula that expresses the population as a function of time in minutes. Okay. So let's go ahead and begin. So we have P of T is equal to P initial. The initial amount is 200 counts of bacteria. And then 1 plus R. So R is the growth rate, 23% as a decimal, that's going to be 0.23. Now this is going to be T over K or some other letter. Now here's the part we want to pay attention to. Should K be in minutes or in hours? We want to write the population as a function of time in minutes. So K is going to be in minutes. We already have 15 minutes. We don't need to change that to hours. So this is just going to be t over 15. But the number that we plug in has to match the 15 minutes. So we have to plug in minutes if we uh, want to do, if we want to get in uh, the population value. So this is the formula that we want to use. So let's say if we want to calculate the population in four hours. We don't want to plug in four because this is 15 minutes. The units won't match. What we would have to do is convert hours into minutes. One hour is 60 minutes, so four hours is going to be four times 60 minutes. And we would plug in 240. So because this is 15 minutes, T has to be a minute. So four hours become 240, and that's what we would plug in. So that's it for part A, but we can simplify it and write it as 200 times 1.23 raised to the T over 15. Now when will the population reach 1 million? So this is going to be 1 times 10 to the 6, that's going to equal 200 times 1.23 t over 15. Now before we take the log of both sides, let's divide by 200. 1 million divided by 200 is 5,000. So now we could take the log of both sides. And we can move this term to the front. Now the next thing we could do is multiply both sides by 15. And then we can also divide by log 1.23. 
So t is going to be what we have here on the left. So let's go ahead and plug that in. 15 times log of 5,000 divided by log 1.23. So I got 617.1 minutes because this is in minutes. So t has to be in minutes. Now we can convert that into hours by dividing that number by 60. So this is about 10.3 hours. So that's it for this problem. What you want to keep in mind is that you want these two units to match. So if this is 15 minutes, T has to be in minutes. If this is 15 hours, T has to be in hours. So make sure the units match in order to get the right answer.